So guys, I've recently graduated, like less than a month. So there's this question that lingers in my mind. Whether should we choose passion or should we choose stability? What are your opinions? Passion or stability? Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been in this predicament like a few times already. Because um, I graduated school three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I immediately joined Elite, right? So that was something that I was passionate about. But then I realized that like passion doesn't necessarily pay the bill, especially as a fresh grad, you know. Mm -hmm. So I chose stability. I was in a full time job. I was in a PR agency, and then I had to leave for a, a, an opportunity with Singapore Real Life. And then I feel like that happened to me a few times already. Like I was working full time in a few companies, and I had to leave because I got a really good offer that I couldn't turn down. But then um, most recently. I was working full time as a marketing exec and I got laid off because of the whole COVID-19 situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like after that, that's when I decided that okay, like all this while while I was chasing stability, somehow like the passion, like opportunities came towards me and I most of the time I had to like turn it down obviously, but then now I decided that okay, this is the best time for me to try and pursue it. Um, especially because like I've already saved up enough, which I think is something that is really important. To pursue your passion, you definitely need some money. Yes. Yes. Yeah, especially in Singapore, you know. And like, mm. I think for me, I'm quite lucky because I, I managed to go through this process at a young age. You know, I'm only 23. I don't need to think about like, um, my fam like my own family, you know, like I just have to pay my own bills, uh, support, support the family a little, but like I am still um, able to pursue my passion because I don't need to think about all these other things, which I'm not sure whether affects you guys or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, I choose stability over passion. So um, as soon as I graduate, right, I didn't take a break, you know. I straight away um, apply for full-time jobs. So um, that point of time, I was in the middle where I really need money and I don't come from like a good family like uh, I come from a really difficult family so I always uh, I'm the one who always um, work for the family so I really need money and oh. I have to um, pursue when you say not good as in like not really well to do yeah well, okay. correct so um, I have to work at that point of time so which I got a full time career and currently I'm in there for already almost a year and uh, so I have to turn down all my um, auditions. You know, there are a few directors who called me who wants to do acting with me but I always have to reject it because um, of my career. But it, at the same time, I think I'm kind of happy now because without that career, right, I wouldn't be here like... I wouldn't have uh, enough for Optimal. myself yeah. to, to come here and just... Um, because I think when you want to do your passion, you also need some invest some money so you mm -hmm. can... You because uh, Yeah, it's well. correct. Especially for like um, for a beginner like us, I think people won't pay us so, yeah. Yeah, so much, you know. So I think when you have a stability career, it really helps you and passion is just a sideline which you can still pursue it um, but it's not like an everyday thing like full time. So I think there's a balance to it uh, for my situation. But mm. what's your motivation though? Is it is it because stability brings you money or is it because stability brings you that security? I think brings that security, especially in Singapore when you know you want to settle down, mm -hmm. you need some money for CPF yeah. and you know in Singapore when you need a home you need CPF yeah, that's true. and do you think for passion do you think it will help you in that? Yeah. I feel like if the passion pays then yeah. it will help mm -hmm. but it takes time to get there yeah, that's yeah. A good point. like for yourself like you were saying like, whether it's for money or security but mm -hmm. like money is security yeah, right, right. so like for me like between passion and stability I felt like I had this like identity crisis mm -hmm. when I was growing up. I didn't really know what my passion mm -hmm. was because I had so many interests. Mm -hmm. So then for me, after my A-levels, I actually worked um, as a finance admin first mm -hmm. and also as a receptionist for like one and a half years. So I took like a gap year mm -hmm. before actually pursuing my degree. Mm -hmm. And after like pursuing my studies, then I realised that, oh, actually I kind of like, like events management and more to the performing arts side. Mm -hmm. But even knowing that, I knew that I couldn't just like um, start up on my own, you know, like do a startup. So what I did was, I did my startup 
in my third year of degree. And then I I had an internship on the side. So after my internship, they converted me to a part-time and then to a full-timer. So I worked there for two years before actually doing my startup like full-time. Mm. Yeah, so I think like between passion and stability, it's like you can have both. But I think uh, the stability should come first, like as they mentioned, like mm-hmm. savings first, yeah. then you pursue your passion full time. Yeah, yeah, I agree though. Um, the reason why I ask about money or, mm. or security is because my idea of money is when you have the money, maybe you need that money to buy or pay off something. Yeah. But when it comes to security, maybe it's in terms of your savings. So it's like more of your emotional response. Mm. So yeah, I actually do learn a lot from you guys. And then when it comes to uh, you know comparing between passion and instability, sometimes we do need that stability, but we can also create our stability based on our passion, yeah. which what Shika mentioned. Yeah. yeah. And then there's this question in my mind. So if you are always uh, chasing for stability, if it is something that we are not keen in doing, it's something that you know, maybe we go to work and then we don't feel happy. So how long are you going to stay there? Because time is very precious. Yeah. Like, no amount of money can buy our time. Yeah. So when it comes to doing things that we love, sometimes we don't get that return. But if we can get that balance, that would be great. Yeah. So not only we can earn, but we can also grow as a person as well. That's, that's something that I feel that is so important. And then, you know, this quote is so relevant right now. Yeah which is if you do the things that you love, then you will never work a day anymore, right? So I feel like that resonates yeah. That's so true. much. Mm. So, yeah. But I yeah. Think, yeah. I think it just depends on what is your passion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Because some passion, you don't need to sacrifice a lot to pursue yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. our passion, being in the media industry, you kind of got to like... It's a gamble. Up. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. a gamble. Yeah. So we have to sacrifice some things. We also have to think ahead, think far ahead. Um, and then we also have to have like some reserves in our bank to make sure that if this doesn't uh, doesn't work out, we still have our plan B. Correct. So that's why we always have to weigh our situation. So yeah, I really like listening all of our different opinions. Can I add on actually? Yeah. <laughs> so actually, when uh, we talk about passion and stability, I feel like some people they don't have or they don't know what their passion is. Correct. Yeah. So they just pursue for stability. They just want the income. But after a while, like you mentioned, Macam. How long are they going to do this? Yeah, because that yeah. is just a temporary happiness when yeah. you get the money and then you buy things that you want. Yeah. You were saving up for that and mm. after that, that thing, the I think, item, mm. is just like temporary happiness. Correct. It's like all materialistic but yeah. what about the intrinsic yes. values? Right. So like maybe like things like uh, all of this, like finding your passion is very hard. I think yeah. sometimes yeah. it comes naturally, sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper within mm-hmm. you right. so maybe like take some time off and like really decide like what you want to do in life yeah. I feel yeah. like this mindset is more relatable to us like millennials and Gen Z's because I don't think our parents ever even had a choice oh do I choose my passion or stability because it Correct. has always been about stability Correct. and I Correct. think at one point when you are comfortable earning your money even if you're not happy you know that that money can support you and can like do things for you you will just be comfortable to just do it even if you're not happy inside you know that like it's what is putting a roof over your family you know? so you are not like given the choice yeah. All right. That is like more more on sacrificing your own interests. Yeah, correct. Yeah. I feel. Yeah. I think talking about that for me, right? My stability is actually I don't like my job. <laughs> when I first <laughs> apply, like really, is okay. this really me? I I asked myself, but at the same time, I was like, how about I try it? I really have no interest. Like, who would have thought? So I try and and yeah, look, I did. I didn't expect myself to. I didn't give up, you know, because I know that somewhere in this career, like stability is, it will helps me with my growth and confidence mm. along the way uh, during my my work, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's great. And it's really um after a while, I'm enjoying it, so that's why I I didn't give up. So I think for those out there, like I mean, if you really feel like you don't like your job, like. Don't just still don't give up. But mm-hmm. if you really cannot, then I think you sh- should just stop lah. But I think for my situation, I I keep going. Like after a while, I met new friends, like new work, uh, like friends at work, and mm-hmm. they are all like great, and I'm enjoying my work. So I think it's really like positive, you know, yeah. like not so bad yeah, at like work. The work culture is very important. Yes. Right? So I feel like it's okay if yeah. you don't like your job at first, but after a yeah. while, I'm sure you will enjoy it. 
Yeah, if yeah. you have been working in that same job for over, I don't know, like maybe two years or so, mm. or maybe even more, and then yeah. you feel like you are growing as a person, yeah. then I guess that is mm. you, you are going in the, in the in the right direction, yeah, right? Correct. But on the flip side, mm. in terms of passion, you can also monetize your passion. Yes. Right? Yeah, that's true. You can find different opportunities. So, for mm. example, for example, if you like, uh, let's say, singing or something, yeah, you can always find other opportunities related to that singing. So it doesn't mm. have to be just solely you as a performer. So yeah. we mm. always have to think out of the box how to earn, yeah, mm, using our passion. Yeah, right. yeah. So, oh man, this is all <laughs> really, really deep. Yeah, conversation. I really like it. So yeah. Okay, <laughs> <Samira>. <laughs> <laughs> and happy bread. Yeah. Finally.